The Singapore Biennale was originally started in 2006, so this is actually the fourth edition of the Biennale. For this edition, we decided to make it quite special by not having a single artistic director, but rather assembling a team of 27 co-curators who have had deep local knowledge of the art scenes of contemporary Southeast Asia. So they bring with them uh, knowledge and knowledge of artists, of artworks that we otherwise would not have access to. We picked the artists and the pieces for the Biennale firstly on the basis that they were somehow uh, connected or they made reference to the title of the Biennale, which is If the World Changed. We wanted a Biennale focusing on what artists have to say about the future, about what is happening to our world today, and perhaps reflect a little on the choices that we make and where we can go. Singapore is rather special because we are very open to the world. We're very open to all the forms of art there is. The local street art collective Zack and C uh, is very, very special. There are about 10 artists in this collective. They have a work called Gardens, by the way. And these artists have basically, you know, they're very conscious of the environment. So they have asked members of the public, including uh, students from the schools, to bring in a plastic bottle and they have turned uh, that bottle, cutting it up and spray painting it into a flower. So uh, by assembling and collecting tens of thousands of these bottles, they form this incredible artificial garden of vibrant colours. We get children from the schools, then we get the children to bring uh, plastic bottles from home or from the schools and then get them to cut into flower shapes. And the flower shape, uh, there's no restriction. It's what they want, how they wanted to cut it. It could be a, a roses, flower, orchid flower, whatever shape they want. And from there, then we teach them how to spray paints on plastic bottles. So you add colors to it, and then voila, we have uh, flowers made from plastic bottles. For them, the idea is also to, to minimize the, the stereotype of graffiti and how it is seen usually as an act of defiance. Graffiti is another form of expression. It's just like painting, it's just like sculpture. We're telling people out there about graffiti and nature can come together. What we can tell them is that recycle all the things we do. And somehow that one percentage, you can save the earth. In Southeast Asia, we also have artists who are very confident in their use of technology. And one of the most interesting and spectacular works in this Biennale is the work uh, Rainbow by the Singapore artist Suzanne Victor. This work is very special because the artist is actually by use of a heliostat, actually bringing in sunlight into the heart of the National Museum and by sending the sunlight through a curtain of falling water, creating a sort of circular rainbow of incredible intensity and brightness. Unlike many artworks that is material, the rainbow is actually an objectless artwork. It's a perceptual experience because it is an artifact of vision and it changes according to your position when you're viewing the work. It's a sort of a little bit of nature indoors. Uh, it's one of those spectacles that of course we expect in every Biennale and I think everyone will be very astounded by this work. Asia as a very new art scene is very interesting because not just the, the fact that there are artists that are new, they are developing new ways of looking at the world, new ways of expressing themselves. And since art is always about innovation and creativity, really Asia and the artists in Asia are where a lot of the creativity is. So I think everyone should be interested and be wanting to come and look at what we have in the Singapore Biennale.